A night on the local tribal brew had left us nursing the worst in our shredding hangovers. But as we drove out to the Nairobi National Park, our stomach churned again. Dan, our guide, had organised a swift half with the fastest killer on four legs, the cheetah. We've got this uh, tame cheetah we can hug. What we're not allowed to do is bring beer. Uh, it's been a So I'm going to smuggle it in and then whip it out at the vital moment. Good news. Thanks to our negotiating skills, our local contacts and, ultimately, $80 in bribes, we are allowed in. Into what, however, we are about to find out. Well, I thought it'd be kind of to be wandering around like a dog. <laughs> of slapping people's faces, <laughs> fetching a newspaper, and it appears to be locked in some sort of huge cage, which suggests it's, it would be dangerous otherwise. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. The two cheetahs, Mylie and Shara, have been orphaned by poachers, and despite spending all day lying in the sun licking each other's groins, these were two cats who wouldn't think twice about biting a white man's face off. Perhaps beer would soothe the savage beast. Beer is one of the for Miley, it worked. Just like girls from the Manchester area, a little alcohol had made her a lot more affectionate. I think it's because I've got salt on my skin and the sweat. That's why it's looking at me. It's not any kind of affection. I'm sure it sized me up as sort of <laughs> midway to hors d'oeuvre. It's Absolutely amazing. My scratches up and down my forearm. Those tongs are so sharp. Normally they used to strip, um, strip carcasses of meat. Didn't quite do that to me, but almost did. But that was unbelievable. On the next, around the world in 80 beers. That was possibly one of the worst things I've ever had in my mouth.